Paul, in the last three months, viewers like you have gotten completely decimated in the stock market. When will the bleeding stop? So guys, I don't know when the bleeding will stop, but what I do know is we can change our mindset to embrace the bleeding and actually look forward to it. This is what I need help with. Well, I needed help with it a long time ago too. I still need help with it, but I'm much further along. 20 years ago, I was like everybody else out there. Uh. When stocks were going down, I was stressed. I was anxious. I was biting my nails. Is this ever going to stop? There were literally times I believed that the stock market would go to zero. What changed? What changed was reading Warren Buffett. What ah. changed was surrounding myself with people who had the mindset of value investing. Had the mindset of changes. I've always said to people this. Investments are the only thing in the world we want to pay more for. And it's so counterintuitive, mm -hmm. right? Go look at everything else in the world. We brag about how great a deal we got in our house. We brag about how great a deal we got in our car, on our shirt. People say, oh, I got this on sale when they're showing a shirt off. You know what I mean? But yet when it comes to investing, we're always so excited to buy the most expensive and often most overpriced companies. Yeah. Why is that? Because we see the ticker every single day telling us, look how much this is. Look how much. When you buy, if I bought this today, this beautiful quarter zip with this beautiful Michigan logo on here, <laughs> I don't know if it's on sale or not. I have no clue. What I know is I bought this and I enjoy it. Those of you out there who might know a business owner, you might be a business owner yourself. Is there a ticker above your business telling you how much your business is worth every day? No, that's why you don't care about the day-to-day -day fluctuations in the business. I have eight or nine businesses. I've had a couple dozen in my lifetime. Never have I ever once ended a business because I thought the value was lower than it was the previous month because of a bad month. Mm -hmm. We're going to have ups and downs. And that's the way we need to look at individual companies in the stock market. So Paul, one popular question is, should our viewers stop buying altogether or, or somehow wait for this market to calm down? Guys, I absolutely believe that the next 10 years will be a roller coaster in stocks. I think stocks are going to fall a lot. But you should not sell a dollar of your individual ETFs. Keep investing month in and month out. Why is that? Guys, over long periods of time, this is what the stock market's going to do. The value is going to go up like this. But here are what the prices are going to do. Okay? Your job is to buy every single month high and every single month low. And what will that mean? They're going to buy this price right here. You're going to overpay sometimes, you're going to underpay, and the average will be this. That is the key to long-term success in finances. The more and more I read, the more and more I realize that the average investor buys here and sells here. Yes. It should be exactly the opposite. But I'm not telling you to even sell here. What I'm telling you to do is, like a robot, buy every single month. You will crush all the investors out there. It is amazing to me how many times I see people who make good income. They tell me how much they have in retirement. I'm like, it should be a lot more than that. And then you find out more of the story. Well, they took money out here because they're a little scared, et cetera. The times of greatest fear is when you should be the greediest. And the time of largest greed, you should be the most fearful. Okay? But for the average investor, you need to stay the course by month in and month out. If a small portion of your portfolio is going to be in individual stocks, that's where you should wait for better times to buy individual companies. But I always recommend, don't have more than 10 or 20% of your money in individual stocks. Yeah. Because your job is to save for retirement. And you're never going to be able to guess where the market is going. Market timing is literally an impossibility. It will, I've never heard of anybody doing it properly ever over long periods of time. They still talk about people who guessed the stock market 1987 crash back then. That's the last time they got those things right. It does not happen. Your goal as an investor is to buy month in, month out, and over long periods of time, this is the price you will pay. And you will do so well, it will be disgusting. You'll be overflowing with cash. And the other thing is, you will sleep well at night saying, you know what? My job is just to buy every single month, whether stocks are high or low. And you're going to average the, exactly the price that you should be paying for the stock. Okay, Paul. So what happens if the stock market does fall 50%? How would it change one of our viewers' lives? Well, guys, I personally believe the stock market will fall 50% from here or more. Oh, no. But it should not change your life. If your dollar cost averaging every single month and you have your job, and you spend reasonable amounts, but you also save enough to retire, your life will not change one iota. There's no fear whatsoever. This plan allows you to sleep very well at night. Turn off your TV, don't look at the news, don't look at anything having to do with that. All you know is your plan is for the next X number of decades. That's what matters to you. Don't change your life. Don't go react to every piece of news out there. Imagine doing that all the time. Is that a good way to live, Seth? Well, you've... 
somewhat, I wouldn't say chastised me, but you, you've been a great coach in my life to not do some of those said things when you saw them right in front of me. And a lot of our viewers might need some, someone like you to kick them in the pants and tell them, well, stop looking at your stocks, make, you know, make better decisions, save our money, prepare for this. Well, we have 6,000 people in this EM community. And everybody in there has conversations. Everybody's there motivating each other, saying, hey, remember our plan here. This is our plan. They have access to, I have three messages here from people tagging me, but they have questions of like, hey, what should I do here? Stay the course. Stay the course. Now, I'm more excited by that 10% we are allowed to trade because the best and most successful investors, they buy near those bottoms. So we need to find those great companies and buy when they're cheap. Yep. And this is a process we've been trying to coach people for a long time. And it's getting better and better and better. And the software right here does help those people to figure out the price they need to pay for the stock. I and mean, look at Stock Analyzer tool right here. This is, the, this is the tool that people use in our community to figure out what price to pay for the stocks they want based on their assumptions for the future. Because every investment is a present value of all future cash flow. So not only is this community great for even engaging in retirement talk or dollar cost averaging, which I highly recommend. But if you want to dabble in individual stocks, this is the place to do it. Your stock analyzer tool. This retirement calculator will make sure that you have exactly the funds you need and the savings you're doing in order to get to your retirement goals so you have plenty to live at retirement and all the way through the rest of your life. That is the whole point of all of this. It takes a village, as they say. I got better investing because of a village. Now, granted, only a couple of my investors were face-to-face, -face, but most of them were people I read about or talked to over the internet. I actually got my best ever, the, the, the most influential person in my investing career is a guy I met on LinkedIn, mm. Gary Mashuris. And I ended up investing with him. And he's in Boston. I met, I've only met him face-to-face -face one time ever. That was a grinder date? That was a grinder date. Stay stole my information. But... That is the point of the community. We have conversations because it's too hard to be out there finding people around you who believe these things, right? So like a great way, a great place to start for finding individual companies is going to our eight pillar process. You can actually just find all eight pillars by selecting all right here, hitting go. And some of these are small companies, some of them are big companies. But these are the, look at 3M. Everybody knows 3M, eight pillar company. Pfizer, eight pillar company. All the way down the list, there's su such great companies out here. Philip Morris, Pulte, all these guys. HPQ, I love HPQ. I've been telling people to buy HPQ for a while. Well, I've been telling people I've been buying HPQ. I don't tell people what to buy, but my process found me this. And then suddenly, Warren Buffett and, and, uh, and Berkshire Hathaway bought 11.4% of them. So these are the things. This process is what works over long periods of time. The hardest part about this process is the emotional aspect. And that's what it all comes down to, the patience. And you've been really trying to coach me on this and, and vice versa to the people in our community. It's just this extreme patience. And I love when I see people in the community always say, when a price stock is down a lot, I'll see the comments. This is what we're preparing for. Mm -hmm. We are preparing for the stock drop. Warren Buffett says, if you can't stand an individual stock going down 50%, you should not own stocks. He's right. The hardest part of investing is the numbers. It's the emotional part. The great news about our software is it combines the numbers with the emotional part of being calm so you can sleep on. That's what matters here. And it's been proven time and time again. Look at stock market history. We've been through great depressions, world wars, terrorist attacks, assassination attempts. All these awful things have happened in the last hundred years and the stock market has just gone like this. There always will be a better day, but in the middle of it, it's hard to understand that. That is why we have the community. That's why we have the software. Guys, sign up. It's less than a cup of coffee per day. This is a no-brainer. Gives you all the software. Gives you all this. And more importantly, over 6,000 people in this Everything Money community chat to talk to you. 30 years of financial data. Exclusive daily content. Everything is here. Two ways to sign up. Everythingmoney.com or for our international people, patreon.com. So guys, if you have a burning question, sign up now, tag me, Seth or Mo, we answer all the questions. And this software is finally all the tools, the data and the community you need to make better financial decisions.